you are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support my channel on Patreon Joy, Sharon, Kirby, Allison, Rose, Sabrina, Wendy, Naomi, Samantha, Juanita, Ebony, Sharon, Kim, Carol, Treva, Lydia, Sandra, Jennifer, Pamela, Beverly, Ronnell, Syl, Jen, Melinda, Sandy, Deborah, Ellen, Janet, Rose, Vicki, Lee, Shamina, Donna, Betty, Purple, Alicia, Gloria, Mouse Baby, Joyce, Kelly, George, Jody, Tiffany, Sonia, Nina, Bobby, and Richanda. Thanks, guys. And thank you. A big shout out to my co-sponsors. You guys are amazing. Sheila, I saw that Ugh in the chat. I know you hate my song. I don't really play it that much in my videos anymore anyway. So hello, everybody. Good afternoon. So... I've had this in my mind ever since I got the mesh iron on that I was going to do a card with a big splat of pink mesh iron on on a black card. So I finally did that. So here it is. Isn't that cute? I thought it would be fun to do some iron on a card. It's really quick and really fast. The longest part of this card is, well, wrong hand, this because I had it right with the different colors of, it's not very can you see it's like glitter gel pens? And I doubled up each letter and made it a little better. And this is a paint swatch. These are, these are all paint like strokes and splats and things. They're all in access. And this one I popped up a little. The word here, this is just on white craft board. The card um, is on black Cricut craft board. I didn't do anything on the inside. You could write on the inside with the silver glitter pen. These are the pens that I used on the card. And I was wondering, and you guys tell me if you want, I'm going to show you how to weed this, how to iron it on. We're going to do all that live in the video. I have everything cut out for that. Um, should we color in? I was thinking we could probably color those in with the Cricut pens. Just color them in by hand. Um, I think that'd be pretty. And this was written on with a Cricut Silver Glitter Gel Pen. And these, oops. Um, these are just fun. A lot of people have asked, they don't know what to do with the mesh um, iron-on. These are great for like numbers. I think of like football jerseys or jerseys for anything with the numbers. You could even do numbers on a card, you know, but I wanted to do some splatter. And so I already have the image cut out right here and you can't see it very well. So I'm going to show you how to make it easier to see. Also, this is not recommended to do intricate cutting with the mesh. Okay not recommended for intricate this is a set this was a sampler pack that came with these three colors fun colors right i ordered these the first day they came out and uh all the iron-ons on sale if you have cricut access it's 40 percent off but because you have cricut access you get another 10 percent off and if you put $50 in your cart, which is really easy, you only need to spend like $25. But by putting $50 in your cart, you can use my code and you get another 10% off. Seriously. I get a little commission if you use my links. My links are in the description below. But I wanted to also show you this. I got this Cricut gave us when I went to Cricut. Oh, and this is a little different. When I went to Cricut headquarters last week, they gave me this. This is a pack. I, I don't even know if it's in the store yet. What's it called? Merlot. This pack is Merlot. It's glitter uh, mesh. And I just noticed, just now, looking at the two, the holes are bigger. There's the, isn't that pretty? So here's the holes. Of this one just so I can show you the difference can you see I'm putting it in front of the camera so I can't see 
So there's those holes. There's those holes. They're a little bit bigger, probably because it's glitter, so you can see it a little better. So glitter would be fun to use too. Uh, Anita, I have videos on making uh, larger than the mat project. So I have the make something you love, like really big. It's 36 inches, I think, by 20 some inches. So I do have videos on how to do that on my channel. There's over 1,800 videos on my channel. Okay, so are we ready? Well, let's go over to the table. Okay, Here's, he was helping me in pictures. Oh, let me show you this. You guys, tomorrow I'm doing a video on a Friday. <laughs> I'm doing it on Friday because I can't wait to make this. Isn't that cool? I love this card. Nothing on the inside, no sentiment. I don't know what to write, but you can always add a sentiment here or add a sentiment to the inside. But isn't that a cool card? The palm trees are drawn on there. I just love it. So uh, I put this together this afternoon and uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow at two o'clock. The video is already on my channel and you can click the reminder. Oh, and we are live on Facebook, YouTube. The chat you see on the right of the screen is uh, YouTube. So if you're on Facebook and you want to see that, I can also see your chat on Facebook also. Hi, Liz, Joanne, and Wanda, and Kathy, and Jen, and Annette. Uh, I see you guys in both places. So welcome. Let's get started. Okay. So what did I want to show you first? Okay, so I have to weed this out and I usually like to prepare in advance and have it all weeded, but I wanted to show you how uh, it's done. Here's, this is all cut and Cricut will tell you, Cricut Design Space tells you when to load the pen. It'll stop and tell you what color to load and then you, it'll do that one and then tell you what color to load next. So it stops for you and tells you what to do. Okay, this, um, this is hard to see where it's cut. You guys can't really see that, you can barely see. Now, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I can't see any of it <laughs> at first. And then I bent it. So when I bend it, I can see it a little. And what I did is I took my scissors. Let me grab my scissors. And I, while I did this, I had to look at the image in Design Space to make sure I did not cut off part of the image. So I had to look at it really closely, making sure I didn't cut anything off. There's a piece right there. And I don't, oh, I'm not in camera, sorry. But I'm just kind of looking, making sure I don't cut any of it off. And now is the time to get this stuff while it's on sale. Um, Anita's asking if you can sew with this material. You could iron this on fabric. Um, I don't know. You probably, can you sew with iron-on? It's just iron-on material. This is everyday iron-on. So probably could it's it's made for fabric i guess it's iron on um so i'm gonna bend this backwards this front side you when you when you cut this on the um cricket you put shiny side down so this side you put like this so when you have it on the mat it's more dull okay and you have to mirror it 
So we mirrored only the pieces of iron-on when we cut this project. So mirror the iron-on, and then, oh, you have to weave it from this side. I almost tried to weave it. And you can't like just stick that in because this will go through the holes. You see that? It, it will go right through the hole. But sometimes I use that to try to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna bend it like this and then I can try to get We want to take off only the part that we don't want to put on the card. So I'm just picking at it. This is my favorite weeding tool. It's just like a straight pick from Cricut. It comes in the weeding tool kit, which is also on sale if you have Cricut access. So if I can get a little piece like that off, and then you can just rip the rest of it. We just used the everyday mesh iron-on setting. It's a custom setting. So you can cut this out on any of the machines. Just if you have a dial on the machine, turn your dial to custom and choose the everyday mesh iron-on setting. Now for the glitter one, there's a different setting. The glitter also has a different setting for the ironing on part also, because I read that first. And there is a link there's not really directions with this. There's a link in the description below. It's in the help center for uh, Cricut. In the Cricut shop, the help center, it tells you exactly how to use this. And to make it easier, I put a link in the description below. So this is the Cricut Everyday Iron On mesh so we're gonna throw this away let me go ahead and weed this one you can't even see this cut until I bend it see when I bend it you can see it I think that piece cut all the way through I'm just gonna poke this into I'm just kind of poking it sideways to get some to rip up. Make it go to the end. There. There, that's really easy. They do suggest to not do intricate cuts. Okay, so now we have to place this on. I am gonna go. Oh, let's turn this on. And the light is right there. Let's let this warm up and we're gonna go to our heat settings. Let me show you. So this is the Cricut Easy Press Interactive Quick Reference Guide. And I've already chosen it here, but you can click the little arrow and you can choose the different kinds. So I chose Everyday Mesh. There's also Glitter Mesh. So if you're using the glitter one, you need to use a different setting. So I'm using Everyday Mesh and I chose Cardstock. It has all these settings and you choose what you're working on. Okay, Ashley, I'm not sure I understand your question on Facebook. She said, why does it take so long to use everyday iron-on to iron-on shirts? They say shiny side down. Shiny side down is only when you're cutting it. Okay, uh, so we're going to choose cardstock. We're also choosing the Easy Press Mat. If you have a towel, the settings may be different. So I'm choosing Easy, Set, Easy Press Mat. 
And then here are my settings. So it's 280 degrees for, you wanna preheat for five seconds. You wanna apply gentle pressure for 30 seconds. That means just barely pushing on it. And then flip the uh, material for 15 seconds and peel off warm. When it says peel off warm, that means warm, not hot. Let it cool a little bit and then peel it off. Okay, let's go back. Shut you up. are. Sorry, there we go. Um, and no, this is, it. let me figure out where I want this. I need to look at my picture in Design Space of how I planned it out. Oh, and look, there's a little piece of green on here because I wasn't careful. So I am going to put this here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Let's preheat pre it because I will forget if I don't. So I'm just gonna preheat that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now you can decide how you want this. This word will be on top. Let me move this over so you guys can see better. Um, now on the first one, I covered this up a little and I did that on purpose to see if I could see the colors through. I can see the colors through a little bit. I don't know that you can, but I can, it doesn't matter. You can layer it on top of each other if you want to. You don't have to. I do wanna make sure I don't go over my score line. You guys can't see my score line, but I have a score line here. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. So I'm going to do this one first and then I'm gonna do the other one. I could possibly do them at the same time like this. If I cut this around, you know what? I will go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna cut this plastic really close to this edge because we don't wanna iron on the plastic. So I can do these at the same time if I cut really close to the edge there. Oh, we need this on top. And let me just, okay, let's, let's see where this will go. right there hmm. trying to move it so I can do them both at the same time so that means I can't have any of this iron the red blue iron on on top of that pink at all it's kind of like a teal in the video it looks blue it's more green okay I think I'm gonna do that that will work this plastic from this one is on top of that one there's nothing under the iron on so we're good just gonna press that down a little bit we have this already set it's at 230 and we're gonna do 30 seconds so we're gonna put that on there, we're gonna hit go, and I'm gonna barely really put any pressure. So it's counting down the seconds.
There we go. Now it's really hot, so we want to let it cool just a little bit. Oh, we got to do the back. Oh no, look what I did. Let me see if I can take that off. Yeah. This is a little piece of iron-on that I had underneath my mat, underneath my image. I really don't think this is necessary. One, two, three, four, five. It says 15 seconds. Now, after you iron this, oh, and I did get a little bit over the score line, so we'll see what happens when you do that. Uh, you really have to score this again and use uh, your scraper or something hard plastic like a bone folder and do it on a hard surface to push this because it's kind of iron flat now. Even though the score line is still there that you can't really see. Okay, let's see. There we go, it's good. That's kind of cool. I like it. I think it's fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this. And this is going, oh, that's pretty good. It didn't really matter that I went over the edge there. I'm going to turn this over this way. Fold that down. And now all we have to do is put this on. The machine does most of it. And I'm going to use some foam squares from ThermoWeb or Gina K has them too. I'll put those on. Should we color in the words, the letters here for color? I want to, so we're gonna. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like, and then we can compare the two. So, you guys, do you think that's easy? That was really easy. Okay. This is the glitter gold. And I'm just going to color like I'm coloring. The font I used on the silver, the You Me Happy, um, is the awesome font. It's called Awesome, and it's from Cricut. It's in Design Space in Access. And um, as most of you know, if you support my channel on Patreon for only $2, or Facebook fan supporters on my page, or YouTube community, the join button, where you get emojis and stuff in the chat, um, you get all my files, my Cricut Design Space files. Now, if you don't have access, you may be charged for fonts if you don't own them or the images if you don't own them. But uh, a lot of my files, you get the free, the free card base or a lot of them are free files. Like this one, you will get uh, this entire image, but these trees will be paid for in this if you don't have access. But I also give you the cutout pieces, the basic shapes for free. That would be totally free to cut out. This video will be tomorrow. And let's finish coloring. This font that we're coloring in is a brush stroke font from Cricut. And I made it write it twice. I made one letter smaller than the other and attached it. So it added a little bit more color. I think it's fun with the colors. It wasn't hard to color that. And I have to tell you, this looks blue on the screen, but it's more of a teal. Um, my nails are more of a teal also, even though they look blue. Here are the two cards so you can see the difference. If you want to color them in. Wait, I can't see that very well. I think I like this one. Which one do you like better? Tell me filled in or hollow? 
See, it's hard to see these. It's not hard to see them in person, but with the lighting, it's so bright. Okay, if you have questions, put them in the chat. What do you use for the envelope? Do you make it in Cricut? Yes. Uh, I have envelopes for my supporters and I have a five by seven envelope and these are five by seven cards. You could shrink them down if you want. Um, thank you, Nicole. These are five by seven cards and then I also have a two size four and a quarter by five envelopes that you can just yeah, everyone's loving them filled in. We got one hollow. Yeah, I think it's fun. And you can just color it in. That took two seconds and it wasn't hard. And because it's a brush stroke font, you, you'd never know if it was messed up. I, I don't think I messed up, but I could have. And you would never know. Actually, it looks like I might have a little on the R. I don't know. But you don't know. It doesn't have to be perfect. I used the same pins that I drew on, the Cricut Glitter Gel Pins. You don't have to use these just with your Cricut. You can write with them. Like if you wanted to write on the inside of the card, I would suggest you use the silver glitter pen that I wrote here because it shows up so well. The silver one is the Glitter Gel Silver Pen. And that comes in this pack right here. No, it's not in this pack. That one's different ones. I have all these pens I have to put away. Uh, Anita, I've never used the popsicle stick under the pen. I've, I've never needed to use that. I'll show you the pen. Here's the, it's the glitter silver pen. That shows up on the black really well. Yeah, this would be a cute card for boys or girls. What does Melody do with all the cards projects she makes on live? They sit around my house for a little while and then they get put in a box usually. Sometimes I use them. All right guys, I think I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Oh, and Saturday. Saturday we have planned slicing and welding, I think. Maybe. And you guys, this is a, a once in a lifetime. Because next Saturday is already planned for design space class. I haven't done that. Like I usually on Thursdays, I'm deciding what am I going to do on Saturday? Sometimes Saturday morning, I get on 30 minutes before the video and say, what do you want to learn today? So uh, I have it planned. It's um, words with images in them. I did a video on this like four years ago. And that video is so old. It's not all true anymore of how to do it because design space has changed so much. But it's a really popular video. But the information is old because Design Space is updated. So I think I'm going to redo that video and show you how to do that. So if you want to learn how to put your pictures in words and letters and uh, printing and patterns and stuff, we're going to go over that next week. This week, we're going to do more slicing and welding and things like that. Um, there's some things that I have been asked recently. I'm like, oh, I could do a video on that Saturday. So we're going to do that. Hear that beeping? Because I never turn off my easy press. So when I stop using it, it will turn off automatically. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to have three days in a row of naughty. Bye, guys. <laughs>